Hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the Lab Africa, Africa podcast. podcast. So this is where we talk about life, life arts, and, and business. business. And like you guys know, we usually have guests who are in in, in their own businesses or yeah. in certain space of arts, and yeah. we interview them. They share their experiences. We learn from them, and then we encourage each other to grow as well. So it's exciting to have today in the building Felix. Yes. Yeah, and then he runs food business. I mean, they are doing a lot. They do a lot of they stuff. He's going, to be, he's going to be sharing that with us. Yeah. But he, they call it the Felix, right? Mark Felix. Mark Felix. Mark Felix. Yes. Yeah. So yes. if you want to know more about Felix, just stay tuned. Let the intro roll. <laughs> Okay. Yep. All right. So it's exciting to have you here, uh, yeah. Mr. Felix, because we've been trying to get you here for a while now. Yeah. I know you're a busy He's man, busy. feeding the whole of Accra and East Legon <laughs> especially. And that's that's a good. That's it seems to me like it's a good good job you're doing there, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the way he's smiling. The way he's smiling. It's like, yeah. I must say, you know, when when you have passion to do something and then. You know your your delivery is well accepted. It's yeah. it's well fulfilled. It's well fulfilled. Yeah, yeah, true. I, li- I like that. I like that. <laughs> Tell it, you have to write it down. I'll post it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. So just before we start uh, bombarding with lots of questions, just tell us a little bit about yourself so yeah. that our audience get to know who Felix is. Okay, so my name my name is Felix Afutu. Okay. I am half can half away. I was born and raised in Accra here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, at the coastal of the city, the capital. Yeah. Basically, Jamestown. Yes. So. Yes. So. Um, I started my basic education all here in Accra, mm-hmm. and then I, I, later part of, when I got to my secondary school, that is when I came to West Africa Senior High, mm-hmm. and then I moved all the way to. Is Legon Adenta, mm-hmm. yeah. yes, to environment to school in Adenta. So that was how come I, I moved from the coastal to yeah. the other side of the city yeah. to start a whole life from. Yeah. Yes, and then it has been amazing. Yeah, I've learned a whole lot from two different backgrounds altogether. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, think, definitely the, the background the is completely different. Yes, like, yes, and I think yeah. it has really impacted me a lot, yeah. and probably that is what has made me who I am today. So. Cool. Cool. Yes. Now let's talk about what it has made you you are today. Yes. Now let's get to it. Okay. So, why food? Why did you choose to do food business? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because first of all, let's start. Why did you choose to start with plantain chips? Okay. Yeah, because we're gonna get to it, but I wanted to know why food first because. You know, you go okay, so um, <laughs> basically, I love food. Yeah, right. I love to taste good food. <laughs> I don't like I um, I don't like too much food. I don't like too much varieties of food. Mm. But when I'm into something, I really love the best of it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so that is it. So when it comes to food, I'm from a grand family, so I know you you know what to expect. <laughs> like they cook. My grandmother cooks very well. Yeah, and then I always love to sit by my grandmother when she's cooking. Yeah. That's right. So That's right. I developed that passion for food because she can cook. She can make something, and then I'll be like, what, oh, what is that? And then when it's time, and then the food is tasted out, and I taste it, the taste is different. Yeah. Like example, rice with okra stew. Like, mm. it is something someone will say, oh, what is that? But you eat, and you're like, yeah, no, this is different. That's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's basically, fair. that's how I started loving food. Yeah. And then, um, and then moreover, to, like, it's like I'm from a family where they love to, to cook and sell. Mm. Oh, okay. So, yes, okay. my mom was a food trader. Like, she mm. does food. She's a caterer. Mm. She's not a certified caterer, but she's a roadside caterer. Mm. My grandmother to sell, to f- cook to sell. My aunties cooks to sell, so it's oh, like okay, it's okay. The so it runs in the family, family. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's in the blood. It's yeah. in the blood. So basically, I love to touch this, love to hold that, and I was like, okay, so why don't I do food? Mm. So I didn't go to catering school, but I love to touch food, anything about food. Yeah, so okay. that's how come the passion for food business started from. Cool. Yeah. So for our audience, just a little background as well yeah. is the fact that he has a very big plantain chips so for the those who are our audience who are not Ghanaian plantain chips is like this uh 
it's plantain so that, yeah, that's like some people call it big bananas yeah, big bananas <laughs> you know and then they chop it they fry it yeah, really nice and crisps crisp and, and then and yeah i know the last time we're traveling to south africa a friend of mine had to buy a bunch because apparently the, the south african guys really love it and even even the, kenyans yeah, even yeah, kenyans yeah. love it too yeah, yeah. so so yeah. he has a big business. Kenyans and Ugandans. Yeah, yeah, yeah in, in that. And that got our attention because, I mean, I've known, for, since I've been in East Legon, I've known that business been there for a while. I've, yes. I've always seen it. Yes. You know, so it's yeah. like, I see big cars parking there. No. I see V8 parking there by, you know, it's like, hey, who is behind this? And there's a Jaguar which nobody <laughs> parks there. Yeah. <laughs> so curious, we, we've been curious about, you know, who is behind this yeah. business. Yeah. And then finally, finally, we have the man himself. Yeah. Be, uh, yeah. So why, you know, like Jido was asking, yeah. why did you just why start with start planting? planting chips? Okay, so <clears throat> planting chips. Um, after M, M Senior High School. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I did visual arts in senior high school. Mm. And then, you know, I love everything vocational. I love everything handiwork. Yeah. So when I was completing school, from like looking back from where I was coming from, financial challenges and all that we are going through. And then I, I like after school, I had to go to tertiary and then there's no financial support here and there. Yeah. So I started and I was like, Felix, okay, what of if you go, if, what of if, if you go to even work? And then you gather some money and then you start schooling. Who will help you to complete? So I had this thoughts and then I was like, okay, I can cook. Why don't I start something like food business? Because, you know, food sells. Yeah. Yeah. So when you start food business and then you are then accepted, I, I think I can then gather enough money to further my education. So that was when food business came in mind that, okay, yes, I need to do food. Mm. And then back to your question with why yeah. planting chips. Yeah. So I happened, funnily for me, I happened to, the first food work I happened to work with was planting chips. That was a family friend mm. who sells, who also has a very big planting chips business inside Osu. Mm. Yeah, so I happened to work with her. And then looking at how she is able to hold the business, able to manage the business, control the business, it wasn't easy, but I can see she's doing it very well. Yeah. And then, through the work, I developed love and passion for mm -hmm. the cutting and the frying and then service to customers, the way they accept, the way, the joy they used to take the food. I was like, okay. So it was even if after when I left and everything, when I was home, and then I was like, okay, plantain chips business wasn't bad. I can fry plantain chips. Why don't I start something on a tabletop? Mm -hmm. Because you know, you know, now it is planting is starting, it's capitally intense. But yeah, yeah, at first, when I started, you just need your table, some small portion of oil, and then some small buckets of planting, okay. and then you are you, you are good to start. Yeah. So that was how, how basically I started. So I just tried to get a space outside, get my table stand, and mm -hmm. then started frying, tying in a smaller pack mm -hmm. on the table before um, gradually we started getting the acceptance and then the feedbacks and then the yeah. encouragement. Which year was that? Which year was that? Um, in 2014. Wow. Because wow. I completed my high school in 2013. Oh, okay, okay. And then I, I did some petty, petty trade work mm -hmm. along the 2013 to 2014 before. That, that's cool, man. That's, that's cool. That's smart. That's massive. Because for me, how I, I got to know about you, because I've been seeing you there, but I didn't really taste it until my cousin came there and was traveling and it seems like your place is where all the foreigners come or the foreign guys i know guys who travel come to get plantain chips <laughs> so he's like you have heard about these plantain chips and all that and then he came and bought a very big bag so I, before then i've never seen a big bag before it looks like a pillow <laughs> <laughs> so, so like there's a very big bag and he came and he brought the very big bag and he bought a small one so that's what we used to taste in the house and i was like yo Mm -hmm. It is different from what they normally sell on the streets because yes. this is too fresh. Like, yes. yeah. 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 So that is that is that is how come I develop develop the passion for because me for instance I didn't like planting any any food for, um, produced from planting I didn't like it mm. but when I went to work with a woman like I said earlier her skill of 
frying mm. and organizing everything was different. Yeah. And then what made you know I love food which is cooked in a, in a hygienic condition. Mm. Yeah. And this um, a food whereby I have heard a whole rumor about it that they use different kind of yeah um, ingredients and chemicals yeah. to cook but yeah. this woman is finding so original and then she'll, she'll even sit back and tell you pour the oil here make sure the, the saucepan is neat make sure you, you wear your gloves make sure you wear your hairnet make sure the food is neat and then i was like no i love something like this because i want something that you do that you feel okay that you're serving mm. something good to people yeah. that you even at the back of your mind you know you are serving people passionately and mm effectively with yeah, no yeah. negative side yeah. so that was basically how come i loved to do that wow. planting wow. business wow. yes that, that, that's crazy yeah. so um like so far like what what was the how i mean you mentioned the feedback has been good but we know feedback doesn't really uh, yeah. doesn't build business yeah. just like that you know because for me i started as a designer and I used I used to get good feedback from my clients but they were not paying <laughs> so now business I, I, like business wasn't good like boys were suffering though they were yeah. good feedback so what actually encouraged you to keep doing the business and how many years eight years now eight years yeah. still now. doing it yes so yes. what what was kind of your encouragement to keep doing this oh. for this for this long okay first and foremost <laughs> um I thank God for the energy yeah. that he keeps giving me each and every day and the zeal to mm -hmm. keep going. And then second, secondly, to my customers, mm -hmm. they are awesome. As you are testifying today, they mm -hmm. are awesome. Anytime one comes to buy, they try to advertise me to other people. And then they come and they're like, I like what you're doing, keep doing. So f firstly, it is my customers. They mm -hmm. keep promoting me, mm -hmm. they keep uh, advertising me out today and they keep encouraging me and then they are willing to pay mm -hmm. for whatever service you give them so probably it is the money which keeps me going <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because, because when you are delivering a service as you said earlier and then they are not paying yeah. you will definitely be discouraged yeah, yeah. but this is a situation whereby you 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 provide a service to someone and then they are willing to pay with wholeheartedness yeah. they are willing to come after you wherever you are to to purchase from whatever you are yeah. you are selling out today and, and it has been awesome That's yeah. what, what has been what has been some of it like i love the the good part but let's get to some bad parts. what are some of the challenges you you faced yeah. um doing doing the amazing and the passionate thing you do uh, yeah so you know life is full of challenges and then i have in different faces yeah yes so personally or in my situation, I, I faced so many challenges. Yes, but with my customers aside, it has been always positive. Even though sometimes they'll come with a little complaint here and there, probably the food was not well packaged as expected. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes some, some of the planting chips were banged in the whole pack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that, that was the one or two problems or challenges I had to correct to make sure business still goes on. Yes, so that, that was with the service provision challenge. But when it comes to the internal ones, you know, you know, in our country here, <laughs> everybody wants money, but you don't want to work for the yeah. money. <laughs> yeah. So you employ someone, you give them all the rules and regulations, and then first week, second week, third week, they are all promising. They get to stay, and then they get their comfort zone, and then they, they start to misbehave. Mm. Time, wa um, um, time wise, they yeah. come to work late. Mm. Oh, I beg, I beg, put this thing here, make sure they are in order. Immediately, you shift away from there, everything is in a mess. Yeah. I think those are the petty challenges I've, I, I have been facing. Mm. But I think they are all um, domestic challenges. So <laughs> if you are into it, you will be yeah. facing each and every day. But yeah. aside that, everything has been so gracious and then successful yes. you had mentioned in that was before we started recording we had a little conversation you mentioned yeah. a bit of a, a split when you started a business at some point can you just share a little should bit should i more? say it here <laughs> no no you don't have to share the details you don't have to share the details so, you know you know you know um there has been two times of split in my life mm. and then i've really learned 
from it because there is this local saying that that goes that like first fool not be fool second yeah, fool not be fool it be the third fool. fool now he go make you the fool so <laughs> i've learned a lot from what i've been through yeah. because you know i didn't start the planting chips alone mm. yeah. i started with friends and then as time went on some were discouraged along the line because you know patronization wasn't that promising mm. so yeah. they had to find their way to make a living to make ends for living so they they stepped out so it was left with me with one that we we tried to push the business forward but we got along the line there were one or two misunderstanding that she had to walk away uh, yeah. and then i didn't i didn't get it right but i was i, I was still passionate to help people uh, so i met another friend that i told her oh you know, my, 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 my other friend who was helping me to push the business forward has left me and then I'm now a bit stranded. Can you come to help me? And then she, she was like, okay, you know what? So uh, in that case, she came and then was helping me other side of the mm. business as well. That mm. was the food side. Mm -hmm. Because we have the snack side and then we have the food side. Mm. And then as time went on to, you know, there wasn't any signed agreement yeah. because I was trusting we, we knew each other for long and then I was trusting she can help me far but along the line she was also trying to find a, a way out and then I understood her very well because she can't always be under me she also has to start life for herself mm -hmm. yeah. it was very 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 hurting mm -hmm. it was it was hard it was a, it was a hard blow for me but yeah. I had to take it in and then try to push myself forward so yeah, so that was how come they were sleep, split here and there. But it has all been positive. Mm. It has helped me to grow. It has helped me to be confident with myself mm. and be self-reliant, if I should say yeah, that. That's, yes. that's, 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 yeah. <laughs> so what would, would you say, before you do this question, would you say you've learned a lesson from these two incidents, these two splits? Breakups. Breakups. <laughs> <laughs> business breakup, yeah, not business breakup. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Would you say you have learned a lesson and then if there's going to be another opportunity to work with some more partners, some, are you going to really make it more formal, contract-wise? Do you think you, you've learned? Sure, you, sure, you get, sure, okay. sure, okay. sure, 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 okay. sure. Because this one, they were like a family. So yeah. I was relaxed and comfortable. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I didn't know when it comes to business, we don't add family and, yeah. should I say, passion yeah. and emotions to yeah. it. So. Yeah, yeah. I think I've learned a lot. That's, that's, that's good to know. That's good to know. Yeah. I, want, I wanted to know how many, how many, how do you call it? How many employees you have now? Mm. Okay, so I have, I have about twenty and counting. Oh wow, that's cool. Yes. Then, twenty man, and that's, counting. That's yes. cool. Because I have some which are the reason why I said twenty and counting is that I have some. You know. You know, if you are hustling on the streets, or if you've yeah. hust, if you've hustled on the streets before, you know how. You you I don't know how to say it. You, you can say it in chief if you want to say it or if you want to say it in I Ghana. don't know how to express it. Like, <laughs> say what bread pain? I'm going to be bread. I'm going to be your bread boy. Yeah, yeah. You know how to help the needy yeah. in the society. Yeah. So I try not just to give them food to eat, mm -hmm. but probably I, I I make them busy. Yeah, I give them I'm, opportunity. Yeah, I give them opportunity to use their hands to mm -hmm. do something. So mm -hmm. that at least when they leave and then they are trying to make living, mm -hmm. at least they have learned something from somewhere they can start at, start at start up with life with mm -hmm. before yeah. any other thing That's so cool, i have man. about four shs students mm -hmm. I, I i actually started with them from when they were in primary oh, yeah. so what? that was way back like seven years when i when i started business they came, they come around to help me wash my utensils here and there and i was like okay you can come anytime any day to help me so that's how come they they became part of us so they come to help us anytime needed and then they still school mm. so as i'm talking to you now they are in school mm. some are on vacation and mm. then others i had others are on their way coming to support mm. so that's, that that's it has been revolving just like that mm. so that means like you're growing the next generation yeah yes. of people to take over yeah. Yeah. yes yeah. if not taking over my business to take over businesses in yeah, yeah, like yeah, to, yeah. to to be self-employed yeah and yeah. then to not rely on anybody self-sufficient yes. yeah yes. yeah that, that's good i mean who, who knew? Did you know that you're going to start the plantain chips on a, on a table and then be employing 20 people in a few no. years to come and then be making impact? Yeah. Is this something like you envision? Or is it like you grew into it? 
Okay, so when, I want when to, we, I want to, I want to understand yeah. the mind you entered. What you saw. Like what? What do you saw? Is like were you thinking? Oh, I'm going to do a plantain chips, and it's going to be a big business, and I'm going to employ a lot of people. Oh, like, there's going to be like okay, okay. survivor mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing. I was like, okay, you know, we need to survive. So yeah, let me do this and then just survive, <laughs> and then see what to do next. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was the whole motive. Like, mm. let me try, try and error. So let me try yeah. and then to survive and then. Because I wanted to go to Tesha because um, along among my siblings, mm. from my from our firstborn to my mm. to my ten, yeah. I was the one everybody was looking up to. Me and my back, yeah, yeah. like to do better in education. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I have to because most of my siblings all completed JHS and SHS, and mm. then they started yeah. learning petty petty trades. So I was like, okay. So they were like, you have to do your your maximum best to go to the tertiary, yeah. at least to change the history of the family. So that was when I was like, okay, let me go and try an arrow. Like, let me yeah. go and try this business, find some coins into my pocket, and then take it to school. Take it to school. <laughs> but along the line, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't because oh, business the, is good. Because the the pressure, like yeah. the demand, oh my <laughs> the goodness. demand. Because even, oh. even when he came, like he just he got a phone call. He kept and getting like, calls, and I was like, "Yo, this is good. Oh wow, that's 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 an interesting one." Because when when did he come to talk to you? Um, we've been like to have you on. Yes. it's been it's been how many weeks now? Like yeah, know, almost uh, almost to two months. Now. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know that at then you know where I was selling my food. Um, yeah. they 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 were evacuating us. Okay, from okay. that space. So I, I was I was busy searching for a space to move my food business mm. and yeah. other stuff. So I was really occupied. Mm. I was really occupied. So I was like, okay, let me just relax. That's why I told you, just, let's relax. So I just completed setting up the new space wow, and everything. That's awesome. We have to come and see the place. Yes, yeah. yes. I just and completed setting up the new space. Yes, yes, so, try yes. the food. Yeah, yes. and the other food as well. Yes, yes. Yeah. Man, that's that's. I would say first funny yet encouraging. Yeah. Yeah, because the funny part was the fact that you're gonna go back. You were like, you were like, hey, let me just do survive and go to school. school yeah. My business became so good. I was like, hey, school. Let me just <laughs> <laughs> excuse, oh, excuse like, my like, language. I'm still, still, go still, you know, I'm praying. I'm praying one day the the, the the business will get to a place where a place whereby could I could let people handle, manage, and then mm. I'll get my personal life back, and mm. then. Just um, go, to school. go to school and then pursue my 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 educational path. What what, what what do you want to do if you, if you go to school? Uh, I I love to do business, so I want to learn more about businesses mm, okay. and do more business, not only food but yeah. other aspects. But I love to do business. Anything that brings pretty money, yeah, I love to good, venture into. Uh, uh, I want to understand it more better. I understand, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, you are yeah, from the yeah, well, town yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 cool. We uh, we know you are married, and you mentioned that you are doing the business with your wife yeah. as well just can you share a little bit of, of, of that, that way that's like yeah. how is your relationship how is your wife helping you or how is your relationship with your wife in this business like okay. you know were you married before you started the business or did you start the business and got married like can you just tell us a little bit about that okay so um I started the business before I got married, mm. but I was already in a relationship mm. before. Yes, mm. before I started the business. So my <laughs> my relationship to my wife yeah. is just like a Cinderella story. <laughs> it's just like a fairy tale story because we met in junior high. Oh, yes, we met in junior high. We were, we were we were very good friends. We couldn't control ourselves when we don't see each other. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was basically how it started. Then I think when we got to senior high. And then I told her, I think I'm in love. And she was like, hey, what is that? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, so, I, so why is it that you don't want us to like, have a relationship? She was like, okay, no, I'm focused in life. I'll focus on my wow. life. And then, you know, you know, Mark Phillips is just, the, the face is just me, but the engine behind Mark Phillips has always been my wife. Wow. And she said this yeah. because she is the, she is the professional caterer. She went to the catering school mm. and then she, she, basically worked and lived with a caterer a whole life. Mm. So she, as she says, she is the one in the back 
ground yeah, or yeah. in the yeah, <laughs> yeah she's the she's engine, engine. Eh? she's the engine <laughs> she's the pushing engine. everything wow, i'm i'm like the good. business side that's why i said earlier that i love to do business so, that's that's that, so i'm like the business guy who always makes sure i know when to put this and how to put that that yeah. is how but she initially when i told her i wanted to start a plantain cheese business i was scared because you know in our time all the young guys all the young girls wanted guys who were doing going to school doing yeah. yes that kind of yeah. lifestyle and, and the i told her i told her baby i wanted to do plantain cheese business she was like yes you can do it i know you can do it i was like really <laughs> yes she was like yes i believe in you so i i basically started with only plantain chips mm -hmm. so i was frying only plantain chips so i went to her one day and then i saw her frying this a choma, I don't know whether. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, was yeah. frying a choma, a frying that it's, flat it's, chips. It's, yeah, yeah. And then that, I told that's her. Sticky. How it's like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. achoma is chinching. It's chinching. Yeah, chinching. Yeah, that's the word I was saying. The cube, the cube. Yeah, the cube one. The cube one, yeah, yeah. The yeah, 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 yeah so. Flat cube. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, so I saw her frying. I told her, and, I, and then I told the baby, I, I, I'm thinking, can we include this to the planting? So I was like, yes, we can do more. Yeah. So she was like, and then she started um, 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 uh, mentioning out the things we could include to the planting cheese business to make it more bigger industry. So it, she was like, we can do um, chin chin, we can do flat chips, we can do granite, we can do coated granite, wow. we can do uh, granite paste, we can do kale. I'm like, baby, but I can't do all this. Like, <laughs> Don't worry, we'll start from the basis. So she taught me how to do the flat chips. She taught me how to do that more. She taught, she taught me how to do the coated granite. And then the cake, the meat pie, and I told wow. her, no, I can't do the cake and the this meat pie. This is indeed pie. a fairy tale. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, like, she has been the engine wow. Wow. from the onset till now. Wow, yes. that's, that's really and thank you guys were together. And yes, yeah, so, so later on, she, she had to move because the demand is high, and then I needed support. Yeah. And then there were this disappointment here and there, so I called her and I told her, you know what, I think the business is well established enough that when you come to live with me, we can we can make a very good impact. Mm. So that was way back 2017, 2018. And then she left a mom and then she has to come and stay with me. Mm. Not in the name of love, in the name of business. <laughs> to work and push the business. So so we came she came supporting with the meat pie, supporting with the cake. And then as time goes on, people um, most of the customers fell in love with everything we we're trying to put. Mm present them and then that was it and then it became a success as well. wow wow wow, wow. That's, that's really good guys that's... entrepreneurs i hope you guys are taking notes yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. because from our last one of our last episodes yeah. we, we talked about the relationship entrepreneurs yes. you know do you have and then it's really good to have uh if i entrepreneur it's really good to have someone who encourages you yeah you know who kind of edges you and something challenges you because you were just doing plantain then she challenged you to do more than that and then it's been it's just amazing listening to you it's it's like a really nice yeah. telenovela so do you have any question because i have one question i want to ask well i want you to go if you have any you question. Ask, ask yourself i'll so ask mine i want to know so you. now what what is the vision like for McFellis like where do you see McFellis heading to in the next 10 years 10 years yeah because yeah, yeah you're almost a decade old now so mm. the next decade what do you see happening okay so apparently I've I've been getting the feedback not only in Ghana here oh, okay. but across the African regions mm. and then beyond mm. and it seems each and everyone that tastes mm. McFellis ends up falling in love with the product. Wow. Yeah, so that even gives me the confidence that we we are going somewhere. That's true. Yeah. And then it's it's giving me more foresight for the business and it's giving me more passion for the business. So I would say I'm um the the whole vision has really enlarged and then has really gone far. Mm -hmm. And then I've seen I've seen I'm seeing this business going not only in this region yeah. but going beyond yeah. the the regions of this country and yeah. even the borders of this country mm -hmm. and then probably in the states and yeah. then the, the europe the asia as well because 
<laughs> I tell you, people come to my DM on Instagram to text me from UK, yeah. from America, yeah. from Asia. Yeah. And they were like, you know, I had a friend from Africa. She bought me this product. It's so nice. Do you sell some here? And then I tell them, we are working on it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I tell them we are working on it. So, yeah. yes, and then I have... Wow. And then I have people who also calls me from this country to encourage me to do more and then to keep doing what I'm doing. That's, so that's, that's nice. yeah, so that's I see this business going far, that's and I great. believe I believe that. Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely would want to have it back when, yeah. like you know, see how the business is growing yeah. and all of that. That's that's really yeah. cool. What what would be you, you've lived the life, you've lived the hustle. You've come from yeah. Jamestown, you've moved into East Lego right now, you've hustled, you're making your own living, started a plantain chips business, yeah. expanded it, doing more. Now, we didn't even mention the fact, you, we mentioned all the, the uh, plantain yeah, chips, yeah. the fries, and all that stuff. Yeah. You have a, a food, food joint, I'm say a food, yeah, yeah like yeah. people. Because we've been talking about the snack aspect, okay. we've not yeah. really mentioned the, the food. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then there uh, was food and I said banco. And I said, what is there? Oh, Just no, so that no, our no. audience gets to uh, no, know no, and they don't misunderstand. You know, you know. <laughs> now there is this food controversy going across yeah, yeah. The, the globe and across this country mm -hmm. and then across this continent. So the the the, the whole controversy is about Ghana jollof. Oh yeah. yeah. And then, Yes, me from my from my point of view, <laughs> I've tasted Ghana jollof and I've tasted Nigerian jollof okay. and other jollofs, but yes. I, I I think we do the best jollof. We do the best jollof. Yeah. Ah. So, so, <laughs> so, so I was like, okay, I was like, okay, okay. To end this controversy, why don't I also contribute to, contribute to what we are providing already? So, I want to make a statement. Yeah, I wanted to make a statement. So. Okay, to start off, I didn't start with the jollof, okay, but I started with beans, okay. which is locally known as gobe. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the then I started. Builder. Yes, I started with the gobe. Initially, I love. I wanted to do more of rice and noodles, mm -hmm. so I bought all the equipment for rice and noodles. But I, you know, I'm a businessman, so I don't just run into business for mm, yeah. <laughs> for money. Say, but I run into business for a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. I I was there. I, I I organized. I was able to organize everything for this this Chinese cuisine. Mm -hmm. And then I was, I was like, no, Felix, why are you rushing to something which is not part of you? Mm -hmm. Why don't you go local? Why don't you do something mm -hmm. you you know you can do better? And then mm -hmm. I was like, okay, go there, beans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, people really love beans. People love to purchase beans. But how well do they get it? Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, why don't I sit back? brand and package gobe in a better package so that everybody not only tasting good but looking good and looking more ap ap appetizing yes mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that was when i was i started i had this zeal so we bought everything for the the french fries and whatsoever and then i was like no mm -hmm. and then i called my sister i was like no we are not doing this chinese we are doing gobe I was like, go there. And I was like, yes, it will move. So she was even shocked at, 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 at the beginning. <laughs> but later on, she came and was like, okay, let's start. And then we started gradually, gradually. And then it, it seems it moved very well. It moved very fast. And then later on, they were like, oh, you are doing good. Why don't you add other stuff? And I told them, no, I don't, I don't jump into any things just like that. I have to sit back and then analyze before I jump into yeah. conclusion. Yeah. So I sat back. I thought I had a whole list of food I could add to the copy, and I was like, okay, I want to set a brand, not just to sell. So yeah. why don't I add jollof to the gobe so that it will be a controversial food? Because now gobe is now a controversy in this country. I don't know yeah. about any other place. <laughs> beans, um, beans with red oil, yes. and then curry mixed together. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. you get a fried plantain and on so top, and some then some little, <laughs> some little pepper, and then egg and protein. It's oh, like, goodness. it's like, <laughs> oh, goodness. it's like you, a savior you, in this country. You guys don't know, that is one of my favorite food. I have been quiet all this, but this guy is just making me celebrate it. It's one of my favorite food. My wife knows you, it. You know, I, I also love <laughs> really? it. Probably what made me went into the government business was because I loved 
that food. Yeah. Because it, it was a savior to me in, in primary. <laughs> <laughs> you eat this food and then you never That's, go hungry till the following day. That is why they call it a nation builder. Because like, yo, from from high school to, yeah, 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 yeah. to all tertiary. When you eat this food, when yeah. it, I, I, I ate beans to the extent that I got scared and then I had to <laughs> go to research that if I eat beans like like frequently every day for a month, would it have a, a, it have negative, a negative effect? effect? <laughs> and then I had a good vision you that, oh, you can eat it anytime, anywhere, anyhow. I agree the, the, the more uh, the love and the passion wow, for wow, yeah. man. That's, so, that's, that's crazy. So for, for, for the Kenyans who say they don't understand why West African men are... are well out. <laughs> built and all that is because we eat we eat bees <laughs> just so you understand <laughs> yeah so oh, wow, yeah cool. so oh, goodness. yeah so that was it that's and really then nice. the, the, so how long since you added a jollof jollof started just this year oh cool and the beans okay. and the beans has been two to three years now nice oh, yes nice. two to that's three nice. years now wow yes man charlie it's really encouraging, man. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Yeah, it's, it's, Charlie it's, it's really been, encouraging. I'm, I'm really excited about the progress you've made so far because yeah. the this is the truth. This is the fact that we live in a country where uh, we are made to believe you, you just need to <clears throat> go to school, complete, like let's say go to secondary school, complete, go to university, do a course, and then come out, be employed. Yeah. And then the fact is that there is no job true and so there's so many unemployed graduates even to form an association called an, an association of unemployed graduates and it's crazy it's it's sad it's sad because we it, the crazy part is not just the fact that there's no job but the, the the sad part is that now a lot of this a lot of the graduates are coming out with a mindset that i need someone to employ me yeah i'm true. waiting to get a job yeah so it's like we are sitting down waiting for someone waiting. to employ but yes. you completed SHS and you thought like, you know what, I think I can do something to support myself to go to yeah. school. And then it even grew bigger than you initially imagined. True. And then business is still running and it's growing Boom. and it's expanding. That is, yeah. that is really encouraging to know. So really, I'm really hoping our audience would just catch a vision, be encouraged by yeah. this, you know, because as much as Judah and I would sit here and sometimes complain, you know, we will complain which, about which it. I'm about to ask him. I want to ask him <laughs> those one of those questions, <laughs> like the one we did last week yeah. about the current um, pricing of, okay. of food stuff. Yeah. And then um, the e levy and all E-levy. that. <laughs> like, first of all, how do you feel about it? Yeah. Secondly, how, is how, it, is it how does it affect business? you? Yeah. Affect your business? Okay. Um, so now, um, let me start with the uh, inflation yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. going on in this country. So. It has affected us in so many ways. Prices of, um, you know, food stuff have really doubled up, or okay. some have even tripled up. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so it has really affected us. But we can't, we can't give up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we are doing our maximum best. We and then we are trying. We do our best to ex- try our best to explain to our customers what is really hap- going on in the system. Mm-hmm. And then they, one way or the other, they try to understand, understand with mm-hmm. us. So. Yes, it has really affected us because now <laughs> the the amount of money you need to take to the market <laughs> initially yeah. now you have to double up or triple up and sometimes yeah. when you go <laughs> even you you have to use the 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 left over over the transport money <laughs> <laughs> to still pay for the food stuff. So yeah. it has it has oh really affected us yeah. in so many ways. But yeah, we still move. <laughs> and it's e levy affecting transactions. Yes, yes, e levy. You know. With Elevi, me with my personal opinion, yeah. I, I think um, the world is moving to a space whereby, to a pace whereby every, um, um, electronic yeah. transaction is happening everywhere. Yeah. So with mobile money, whether you want it or not, it has come to stay. Definitely. Yeah. Yes, but with the Elevi, I don't know what to say about it, but the little thing I have to say is that <laughs> mm-hmm. it has it has really shaken us a bit. Yeah. And then I'm praying whatever purpose the uh, the government is probably collecting the E levy for will be will be well 
um, distributed for. That's yes. our personal price right yes, now. Because yeah. That's we, our first are all, <laughs> we are all citizens and then we all want the best for the country. So yeah. if our leaders want the best for us and then they are doing everything possible to push the country, we are praying it works. Just that the education didn't go far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, the that's, education yeah. didn't go So um, when it started, everybody was panicking. Mm. Everybody was um, scared to trade with because it's very expensive now to use mobile money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was, I, was, I had to send um, four thousand cities to a customer some time ago, mm. and then I had to pay each and every thousand cities. It, it, it would, it would be charged over thirty cities. If I'm, I stand to be corrected, mm. you are charged over twenty to thirty cities. Mm. So sending forty cities, I sent four thousand. Oh, yes, sending four thousand. No, I, I, I sent four thousand cities. Sorry, I had to pay for tax to. Almost a hundred cities. Mm. What? And then yes, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it was it was a hard blow. Yeah, yeah, it was a hard <laughs> blow. It was a hard because <laughs> looking at me paying all my taxes <laughs> and, then, yeah, and yeah. even the food commodities I bought from the market, there yeah, were tax, tax included yeah. already. Yeah, yeah. And then I've yeah. hustled to gather my small money. And then, I was and then I'm another. going to pay for a service, and then have to pay for another, another tax. tax again. I, I don't yeah, know, but that is, it's that all is. for a better purpose. So we, we, I have we hope so. we hoping that <laughs> we the, hope the purpose pray. will be achieved. <laughs> yeah, but it's really pray. thanks. Thanks for sharing your opinion on that as well. Yeah. I mean, we, we've, we've discussed that. We hope that our leadership would really understand yeah. the, the worry of the Ghanaians, the youth especially, because yeah. we have bearing the brands of this we are paying we are going to we are paying most of this and, and we are going we are to hope, pay in the future <laughs> <laughs> we, we hope that in the future yeah. will be better than now though so so yeah. we are just hoping that this really will be done will be used to do what is that but really Charlie, encouraging story encouraging business and yeah we are we are hoping that um more business come your way and Amen. you know you keep growing the business and then we'll be bringing our family and friends to chop there. Uh, uh, we'll be, we'll be. Please come. Come, come, come. <laughs> come and support them. We we'll definitely come there. So, you know, any last words? Yeah, I, I, I want to say, like, thank you so much for making time yeah, um, to be with us. Um, thank you for Because of this conversation, he had to put his phone on silent. And I'm sure, like, he has about 10 or 15 phone calls already <laughs> because of orders and stuff, which, yeah. which also means that you're doing an amazing job yeah, um, yeah. in the neighborhood. Yeah. And um, I, before you leave, or before we close this, I'd like, I would like you to just say, like, a few, like... Yeah, encouraging words. Yeah, encouraging words to, for the youth. Um, okay. Especially those, those people who have... Because they, I feel like the SS people, when they finish school like and they cannot continue business is like what drops in their head mm. but if you've got to invest in cutting first class as a second class upper yeah, but yeah. the second class lower and, and the the ones below that business will come to you whether you like it or not but then for the first class guys and, and you're still waiting for somebody to employ you um please tell them something for me okay so what I have to say to the youth out there is that um, don't only sit and then wait for somebody to give you work to do mm. yeah. but I think God has given each and every one of us something unique that probably when we serve to our community and then the nation as a whole is going to one way or the other bring something little to our table mm -hmm. so just what i'll say is that just just look into what you are so much passionate of mm -hmm. i'm not saying don't go to the school it's very important because yeah. if yeah. if i wasn't given that educational opportunity like yeah. i can be we're coming to me <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't be here actually saying it's speaking in good english so yeah, yeah so yeah. go to the school but don't complete school and sit home and expecting someone's father to bring you work to do mm. you have that energy now as a youth you have that zeal now as a youth why don't you channel that energy to create something profitable for you for today and then probably build an empire for your next generation to come That's good. yeah so what i'll say is that just sit and and then try to figure out that um, that that thing that drives your passion mm -hmm. that that little handiwork that tra drives your passion try to learn a little skill try to acquire, acquire more skill about it try to um try to um 
research about it more yeah. and then learn about it more. Start from somewhere. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't say, I have to get that shop, I have to get that yeah, space, yeah. I have to get that opportunity before I start. Just start it from somewhere. Yeah. Just somewhere. And then with prayer and dedication, just, just focus on that vision. And then I tell you, you get there. Yeah. Even if it takes a whole lifetime, you definitely get there. Yeah. Yes. That's so cool. That is it. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> thanks. Thanks so Thank much so for much, sharing friend. this. Yes. And so like much. you just said, we really appreciate the time yeah. you spent with us, yeah. sharing with us your story, how you've built your business, and hopefully, an, an, a food empire in the nation yeah. and even beyond the borders. It, it's really great. It's really great to know and. And then a big shout out to his customers too. Yeah, man, you guys have yep. been great. Yeah, been been <laughs> because yeah, he he's he's commended you guys, yeah. and, and it's because you are doing a good job. That's why your customers keep coming. So yeah. I'm hoping that we also encourage other people in similar trade to do a good job. Then yeah. hopefully, and the customer service is on point. Yeah, so that's a customer, customer yeah. service is on point. Yeah. Thank you. So, <laughs> that's great. So thanks for watching. In thank you so much video, if you're watching it on youtube if you're listening to us on apple podcast google, google podcast or spotify thanks so much yeah. thanks for your feedback yes. and if you like this keep the share the link share the link with a friend like share it. it we like to hear your feedback yep. so if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel then please quickly go subscribe. to the lab africa Lab podcast. podcast on youtube subscribe like comment yes. below we like to hear from you yep and Hey, perhaps you are an entrepreneur out there who's doing an amazing thing we have not, we don't know about it yet, and you like to be on this podcast too. Shall I hit us Ooh, up? We yeah. are here, cry. So thanks again, and like we, we always say, let's make Africa great again. Peace.